lots of different combinations you can use. And there's a couple different methods you could use. Oh, we're going to start off with uh, the floating trap because it's the most useful. And um, I'm also going to show you how to go under the map and place them underneath the map. So we're going to go east of home base. You're going to see this cave. You might have quartz crystal in it. I still got one. They used to be on, on the wall right here, but I broke it. So you're going to place it a floor, a floor, and a couple ramps, just like this. Just like this. Now you don't have to place the banner right in the middle of the thing, so you can, you can actually stand a little bit to the left, or a little bit to the right. Um, I like to stand right about here. It doesn't really matter. Put your head up against the roof, place your banner, and we're going to make it pop up by editing our stairs. Just like that. Reset. Edit it again. And reset again. And now it's up in the map. And now we're going to go straight east. And go for a swim. Alright. We are now out of bounds. if you did it correctly, which I'm sure you did, you'll be here. Now you're going to want to make sure you bring a ninja with triple jump. I'm using Forge Fate because uh, she increases sword heavy attack efficiency by 200%. And then what I've done to my uh, Ravager is I gave it two heavy attack efficiency perks. So I'm sitting at 440% heavy attack energy efficiency for my sword. Alright, if you don't have the Ravager, you could actually use the Spectral Blade and do the exact same thing with the perks, but you don't get as much of a distance with it. You're also going to want the Kunai Hover from Lynx in your support. Alright, and that's going to allow you to basically fly around. Um, after you do your five, or about five or six heavy strikes, you'll get your triple jump back, so you could just repetitively fly. Okay, so here's my Valley Amplifier C for me, and what I've done is placed a freeze trap underneath the map where you're actually not able to place a trap on these, uh, you know, four tiles around the amplifier. But you can actually do it underneath the map with, say, a freeze trap. And then I went ahead and placed the tar pit where I have my floor launcher. And these combinations are deadly, extremely deadly. Um, I've connected it with an arch, I mean a pillar right here. You can also use an arch, but I decided to use a pillar directly underneath another pillar. And that way it's not going to aggro a smasher. Um, if you place a full wall underneath your amp like this, it's going to wreck your assassin design and it will fail. So I'm going to show you how to place these traps now. First let's go to somewhere we can build. So we could place floors here. It's kind of a useless spot, but I just want to show you how to place. So, for some reason, it's a lot easier with either metal or brick. You're going to struggle with uh, with wood. Okay, so pick your favorite floor trap. You're going to want to stand in a position like this, more north and south. If you're standing on the ramp and you're looking this way, you can maybe see it, but as it's going down, it's going to float temporarily in the middle. You want it to float near the top by standing lower. You can kind of see it pop up at the top for a second, and that means you're in the right place. So now you, what you want to do is uh, line it up so that you can see the trap floating here. You won't be able to place it. I'm, I'm pressing it right now. I can't place anything, but I'm going to press place and then move really fast. So place, move. And if you did it correctly, it should be just like that. Now we're going to do it on the left side because you could do it on the left side too. Alright, so now you see it floating, place, then move. It's that easy. So sometimes you can't actually put a ramp down, like for this instance right here. So let's say you wanted a trap floating right here, but you can't place a ramp 
beside it. Even though we can, but let's just say that we can't. So you're gonna place a floor, or a, a cone, sorry, right here. Go ahead and place a trap on it. You're not gonna have anything to guide you. So you're gonna want to line yourself up just underneath this frame right here. Just underneath this one right here. So you're gonna do the exact same thing. Place, then move, but very fast. And if you did it correctly, it should look just like that. You're directly underneath the floor that will be above. And that's, uh, that's that. Now I'm gonna show you another cheesy trap method that uh, White Streams gave me the rundown on. This other method's a lot easier. And it doesn't take any skill. And it's very useful in other situations. Um, this is what I'm talking about right here. I'm gonna show you how to do this. Let's say that you have a little trap box or something little jail box. Even though they're going to despawn or whatnot, they're, st they're still all going to activate and you have all the freedom to place whatever traps you want in here stacked with whatever floor traps you want. Alright, so let's show you how to do this. Okay. So you're going to place a floor and place another floor and a cone. Like that. The trap is going to be floating over this floor. You're going to edit this floor, like this, stand on it. You don't have to stand on it, but you have to find the right angle. This is really easy. You're going to line yourself up right here until you can see the trap floating just like this. Then you're going to place it. It's that easy. Okay, let's do one on the other side. Let's mix it up. Let's get some fire in there. So we got some effect. The exact same thing. Place a floor and a cone. It's going to get a little bit blinding. You're not going to actually be able to see it floating. So just line yourself up until it makes this color. And then place it. And there you go. You should have uh, fire and ice all in one tile. Okay. Now let's do it again right here. Okay, we'll do a healing pad. Okay, so we're gonna line ourselves up. Oh, I'm uh, sorry. You gotta, you gotta have it edited out like that. It's really hard to see once you get all these going, but line yourself up till it makes this color here, and place it. Now you should have a healing pad in there. And we're not going to stop here because we could do one more. Edit the floor the other way. And now we'll do a tar pit. Jump on your floor. If you could find it. <laughs> and try to line yourself up so you can't see it on either the ramp or that floor. And then place it. Now we have all of them. Okay, hopefully that helped you guys out. Uh, thanks for watching. Take care.